Oh no, we got biters on us. Oh. Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, continuing on with uh, Factorio. This episode I'm going to probably try to speed up this green research. It's kind of working, but it's uh, it's pretty slow. So if we kind of look at this, we can see this is kind of the limiting factor, because we only have one of these. And then everything else is kind of waiting on it. So everything backs up until this is done. So I'll try to make a more, a better version of this. I want to put some more defenses in as well. This corner is kind of open. So I'll make some turrets. Oh, and our gun turret damage is done. So what should we do next? Let's do let's do logistics too. We get these faster belts. Sounds useful. Oh, 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 we got our first attack. Let's put some ammo in there. Repair pack. I think that's what we might need. So where is the repair pack going? Oh, it's down here. Okay. I think that did the trick. Actually, I want to set up an automated belt maker because we're going to be using lots of belts in the future I think. And we have one over there for the green packs but I want to have a dedicated one. Select, select, uh, oh we can't make transport belts directly. Need to make gears first. So I guess we'll make gears here and maybe we'll pass the gears into another one here. Let's dump the belts in a box. Then whenever we need steel belts, we'll just come here. Sorry, transport belts. That's filling up pretty fast. Now I learned that you can limit the number of things made by dragging this red X. So let's say we only want that many. It'll just fill up to this point. Probably want... How many do we want? Let's do one row. Okay, one thing I want to do is get copper over here so we don't have to fill this copper thing manually. Now I've seen some people make like a main bus, which is like a long assembly line that everything hangs off, and it seems like a really good idea. Now I'm wondering if I should make it up by this iron that's over here. Because the iron supplies we have right now are really quite light. So it's over here. It's covered in trees though. Might be a while before we run out of iron though in our main place. realize we have no gate. <laughs> We're actually using up these steel plates pretty fast. We actually need more ore already. So let's build a few more electric miners to dump on the belt. Let's illuminate this place. It's so dark. So we have some electric miner drills. If we face them this way, there we go helping. Probably have too many furnaces actually. Actually it's kinda it's kinda working now. So I'm gonna try to make some kind of main assembly line going down this way. Because we have some room with not too many trees in the way. So I've seen people use splitters. So yeah I've seen people use splitters like this to kind of expand into four lines. I'm not sure why they use four, but... Four lines of iron. Four lines of copper. With some space in between. Let's make this copper. Put some splitters in. 
So people call this like a main bus. So we'll send in iron here, copper here, and then we'll kind of build things off to the sides. So we've got to feed some iron into that. Put a splitter here. we got to keep our regular production going, but we're going to start doing our planning from this here. I should probably set up a turret here just in case people attack. Okay, so we got iron on that. Let's get copper onto this. So there we go. We have two main lines. One for iron and one for copper plates. And I'll try to build everything off these main lines. So we probably want some defense. Some walls. Some lighting in this kind of area here. So I'm going to go get our our bricks making fixed up a bit. So I kind of set this up. I added three electric drills with a conveyor belt in the middle here going to I'm going to have a row of, row of furnaces that make bricks. We're going to ne need to get some coal over there, over here though, to make it automated. Oh, gates are researched. Let's do flammables next. Now I think we can turn bricks automatically into walls using one of these things. Let's try to do that. five stone bricks and we need power so that'll put bricks in there oh we need <laughs> we need a much faster arm than that it's too slow okay let's put a fast inserter down and we'll put a fast inserter on the outside and we need another chest. There we go. So that'll fill up with wall parts. Oh, look at all this iron here. Delicious. So we should bring some coal over this way. So we can make a landfill now out of stones. We can just stick this in here, I guess. Oh, look at that. I like it. Let's get... Uh, stone out of here. Oh, we got lots of stone. We need like a drop box here. Free up some inventory. Temporarily, I'll put that here. Make a bunch of landfill and put it in here. We already had our conveyor belt here, we can continue to use that. Now which way should we go? Kind of want a conveyor belt. Maybe right here and use a long arm to get the coal in. I think that would work. But we gotta go hook up our hook up our coal to this. Flammable's done. I'm just gonna work my way through all this in no particular order. Oh concrete actually sounds good. Let's do that. Sorry it's so dark for you guys. I could put it in perpetual daylight. It's probably better for recording, but it messes up their, our achievements. Okay, if we put a long arm there now. With some power. There we go. Automatic coal. Let's 
Let's try making a gate. Let's see what that's all about. Nice. I like it. It's a little bit better now. So we got all the stone going into three brick furnaces, going to these three buffer chests into the wall maker. So we're making a wall at a decent rate now. So I'm just walling off this area here so it's uh, protected. Could put a turret in there as well. Can make heavy armor now, so I'm gonna make one of these for our personal defense. Okay, back to our main project, which is this this main bus line thing. Oh yeah, we went to go get some rocks before, so we can make some some walls here protect this area. So if you use a splitter right before a line like this, you can get things on both sides. A little trick. That way we get all eight mini eight half lanes full. Do the same thing over here. Make a splitter. And just build one tile that merges back in. Okay, it didn't work that time. I think because we're on the wrong side. There we go. So what are we going to do with this monstrosity that we made here? Let's make, uh, let's look at making microchips. Microchips need copper cable, iron plate. Three copper cable. And copper cable is one copper plate. Okay, we need power over here. So, copper cable. Needs copper plate. Let's make a splitter then. So I moved it slightly because this is kind of the entry point and we're going to make them go this way. So we need for circuits, green circuits, we need copper cable and one iron plate. So we got to get some iron plate from our main line over here. Those are all backwards. Split one off. Go underground. Go. Yeah, we can go underground right away. This will be for circuits, and that requires copper cable and iron. And we want our circuits to go. Where should we put them? Maybe back around or back over this way. Let's put them back around and put them on a lane in here.
and then we'll get a inserter to take the microchips out. There we go. And we'll do that splitting trick where it merges the two sides. So now we got green circuits building up. Now is this running optimally? I think we could maybe use more copper cable, but... It's good enough for now. Oh, power outage! What's going on? <laughs> Why all of a sudden? Weird. What happened? <laughs> Out of coal, I guess. Concrete is done. Let's do tool belt. I'm gonna use burner inserters here. That way if the electricity goes out, it can recover. I think it can feed itself as well as feed the boiler. I think we just need more coal coming in. Oh, we've used up all our coal here. That's what's going on. So we'll shift everything down a bit. With a thing down the middle. It's an environmental disaster. All this coal. Nasty, nasty coal. Now I saw that there's nuclear power, so... Hopefully we can get to a point where we're using that. There we go, coal has been restored. So for green science we need inserters, transport belts, and inserters. Need circuits, iron gear wheels, and iron plates. So let's get some iron gear gear wheels going here. So it took a while to build, but we have our green science building here. We've got four of them, which takes transport belts and inserters and we're building our transport belts here it, it needs gears which is a bit upstream and then we need inserters which needs gears and plate and then we built circuits before which is kind of streaming around here because we're going to need circuits for a bunch of stuff So it's looking pretty good. Let's grab all this green stuff. Take it off to our main research place. We want to move our research area over here now. Got to build a red one as well. Things are getting pretty spread out now. Oh, this iron is almost gone. Gonna have to set up a new iron mine somewhere. Let's plunk our green stuff in there. So we have a giant ore deposit up here. 607k, 391k. So I might build a bunch of miners in here. Oh, some stone there too. And then send the iron down into the base. There's a bunch of forest here though. This one's cleaner over here and we already have... Might be better to use this one actually. 
Ah, uh, look at all this ore. Delicious. So we'll probably set up a bunch of electric miners. Send them along here. We'll extend our wall slightly. Now, electric miners. I think we need more power. Yep. There we go. Power is upgraded. I might just leave our science set up like this for a while and then manually run over the green beakers once in a while. Otherwise, we've got to make a really long conveyor belt to bring the green research over. So how many green beakers do we have now? Ooh, a lot. How do we make concrete? Something new that was done. Concrete needs bricks, iron ore, and water. How do we get water? So it took me a while to figure this out, but to get water, you build a assembling machine and you hook it up to a pipe. Once you select a fill water barrel, it, it, it adds this little port that you can see here. If I rotate it around, here it is. So then you just use a regular pump to get water. And you stick it in there, but you need barrels. And then you need a thing that empties barrels. Maybe we can skip the whole barrel thing. Just pump water in directly. So we'll make this our concrete. So we need to feed it bricks. And iron ore. Let's do this kind of old fashioned way here. Some chests for now. We can think about automating it later. Because I don't know how much concrete we want to make. Automobilism. What the heck does that give us? We can use a car? Oh wow. <laughs> Let's check that out. Let's research that. We weren't researching something for quite a while there, which was kind of stupid. But now we are. So let's put... Is that what it wanted? Bricks? Yeah. Let's put all our bricks in here. There we go. We got concrete on the go. And we need an output box. I use, might as well use a regular inserter since this thing is very slow. So we got some concrete and that speeds walking speed. We should probably feed it ore from the main ore line here. Could maybe split one off. Concrete. Lovely stuff. Ooh, so fast. Oh, we can't pick it up. Oh no. Oh no, how do we demolish it? <laughs> or do we need to? I guess we can't once it's down. Can we put belts on top though? Yeah. Must be able to, yeah. Probably increase our research rate if we extended this out a bit. There we go. So we've doubled our research output. Oh no, we got biters on us. Oh. There's like a biter hive. There's another one up here. Oh, it's growing. Look at that. Oh, they're coming to attack. I think. They're agitated. Oh, we can see them on the map. Spitter spawner. Look at that thing. We'll leave that alone for now. So we'll we'll do we'll figure out oil next episode.
And this episode is getting really long, so I'm going to wrap it up. We got our green research kind of going really fast here, which is nice. We got lots of it stacking up, even though we're still manually moving it over to our research area. That's, that's fine. We got our main bus going. Iron plates, copper plates, green circuits, we'll use that in the future. We started up a new ore iron ore mine because this one's going to be gone soon. And we got research going at times eight now. Which is really good. Oh, we're we actually got through some research, so what else can we do? Gun turret damage too, that sounds good. And we figured out how to make concrete, which is cool. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.